Hi, everybody. My name is Steve Smith. I'm the owner of PHC News Magazine. I'm standing in the booth of Little Giant at HR Expo in Chicago. And next to me is Jeremiah Brody, business unit trainer at Little Giant. Thanks yeah. for having me hey, at your thank booth. Thank you. Thank you. Now, what can you tell us about some new products here at the show? So new products that we have this year is a mini split undermount condensate removal pump. It's the EC1 UDV. The U in it stands for undermount. And it's a new category that we haven't had a pump in that area, but it comes with a nice cosmetic aesthetic look that is just going to be nice, crisp. It's going to have the pump housing as well as the reservoir inside. It's going to just keep everything nice and enclosed underneath that unit. So. Now, if I understand right, you've always had the pump. Correct. Yes. But we've always had the EC1 DV. Yes. And so we've had that pump for 10 plus years as the mini split units become more and more popular in the U.S. So that's where we really jumped on board years ago. And so we've always had the pump in the reservoir. Now we just put them inside a nice, crisp little little okay. containment. Now, I think I know what it does, but why don't you make it a little more clear? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. So the mini split units are going to produce condensation. Uh -huh. And if there isn't a gravity drain, well, now we have multiple different categories of different pieces. We can have the pump in the reservoir behind the wall. Mm -hmm. We can have it in a line set cover mm -hmm. on the side, either the left or right side. And then we also have the undermount category, which we never had before. So it's just really, we're just trying to make it look as aesthetically pleasing within a retail environment or a condominium or an apartment complex, anywhere where you just want that mini split unit. All right, very good. How does this help the contractor precisely? with this product? Well, how it helps them is basically the application and the installation. This is going to be just two screws. They mount it underneath the, the mini condensate unit itself, and they just mount it in there. All they have to do is wire it to the unit and then put the drain inside there, and it's just going to be a nice contained area. So really, it's about ease of installation, and it's about ease of maintenance, which is tool-free. So if you have to clean the reservoir, it has a nice hinge that's going to drop down, and you can uh, get into the reservoir, clean that out maybe once or twice a year, okay. and you do not need any tools to do that. Okay. So you All should right. really make it easy. Sounds like it. Now, I can see looking around that there's a lot more than just that one product. That's so very what, what true. else can you tell us? So we have a, a lot of our different condensate removal pumps anywhere from our unofficial industry standard VCMAs, as well as our VCMA 20 Pros, which we launched last year at AHR 2024 in Atlanta. Um, we also have some of our low pro plenum, as well as some of our wastewater pumps. So we're okay. talking specialty pumps, as well as the, the, the five series, which right. we call the five series mini sump pump that's been around since 1980. Okay. But along with that, we have our Franklin Electric products. Yes. So we have our VR spec pack, and then okay. we also have our Sirius X drive over here right. as well. All right. And the product line that you announced last year at the show, can you give us an update on how it was received by the market? And yes, it was very well received. So right from the bat, you know, with the launch that we had at AHR, it was a really fun product because it was something that we really were just building our relationship with the wholesale distribution, the brick and mortar stores, because yeah. we weren't offering it online. Okay. So it's really building that relationship. Uh -huh. And as soon as we launched it, we just seen great success because it had a lot of key features at the same price, similar price, I should say, to our other units as well for the VCMA 20. So the VCMA 20 and the VCMA 20 Pro. Now that sounds like a lot of good product news. Mm -hmm. What other initiatives other than maybe products is the company yeah. doing? Well, I can speak personally on this. Uh, we've, we've really had a big hit where we're just we're trying to introduce training yeah. that's relatable as well as gonna give you product knowledge where it goes and it stems anywhere from the salesperson as well as a contractor or anybody, even a, even a homeowner mm -hmm. that might have their pro our products in their house and they can just get a better understanding of installation, operation, troubleshooting, features, benefits. So in the last 15 months, we've produced 47 videos and put them online, really? which is on YouTube as well as our Franklin no Tech kidding. University. Oh, okay. 47. 47. And how long are the videos? Five minutes or less. Five minutes or less. Yeah, we're so really trying. Short, yeah, meant to be. Yeah, we're just trying to keep everybody's attention, uh -huh. but also give them the information that they need and then okay. give them the resources if they want to dive deeper into uh -huh. it, they can find those as well. Very good. So for contractors and homeowners too? Uh, it's it's a broad, good a broad stroke. Yep, yep. yep. So we, we have two different series. We have the Franklin Tech yep. uh, tip yep. series, which uh -huh. is going to be more features benefits based. Yep. And then we also have our PK, our product knowledge videos. They're two different playlists that are on YouTube and our Franklin Tech University. So one's gonna be talking about how you would install this product. And the other is going to be talking about, hey, this is what this product does if you don't understand it. Okay. 
I, you and I did a podcast years ago yeah. in the early days of COVID. Mm-hmm. We talked about training. Yep. As long as you're, you know, we're thinking about that. Yep. What, what can you talk about training for the contractor that might be a little different from the company? Well, you know, when we talked last time, it was we were all staying home, yeah. right? Right. So we did a lot of virtual training. So we had right. a lot of contractor touch points on that. But now what we've done is we've taken the initiative to get back out into the field. So last year we trained over 2,500 contractors as well as salespeople. We just really went out and we attended over 92 events. Now some of those were virtual, but I'm gonna say about you know 7% of those were virtual, where the rest of them were just going back out into the field and spending time with the contractors, whether it's gonna be a counter day, yeah. regional events yeah. or local events. Okay. And- so there are obviously face-to-face events now. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, are, are people happy to do that again? I, um, I would say extremely. Look at the attendance yeah. at oh, AHR yeah, of course, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But still, online is convenient and good. We do that and because out of the convenience. You mentioned the YouTube videos. They are new. Yeah. I mean, not necessarily education, for, I guess, but yeah. still, good information. We want to we give them the ability to really just view content, see how our products work, right. and make it accessible at any, right. any point. Right, so. it's a good starting point. Yep. Perfect. You know, we're looking around at the at the show. Yeah. Yesterday was packed. Today looks just as packed. Oh yeah. Chicago in January never seems to work, but it does. It did. <laughs> so how, how does the HR Expo help you guys? Well, it really is just getting back out and connecting with manufacturers as well as the contractors, and we're really just seeing. I mean, every time that if I leave the booth and I come back, yeah. it's it's like a warm welcome because it's been it's been full the whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just really nice to get back out and network and right. just build that and build new networks as well. Yeah, and Chicago seems to be, there's something about it. It's the central hub. I know. mean, I, you know, is there anything else in the year, months ahead that we can expect from the company? Well, I mean, Maybe. we're doing we're doing the launch, you know, with that with that product, the yeah. EC1 UDV, right, right. and that is something that we're really pushing towards okay. um, from our company. I, th- I really think you're just gonna see our presence out in the field, attending all the events that we may yeah. have felt like we missed out on the yes. last couple of years, so. Okay. Well, we're going to see you too. Yeah, absolutely. Out there. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks Sounds for inviting me. Hey, thanks for the opportunity.